Right, so I thought we'd do a little video on us fitting a um, bonnet lift kit to our Rover 45, fitting it to our Silver 1.8. Uh, it's a bonnet kit specifically made for the Rover 45, and I think it fits the 25 uh, as well. Uh, we have in the past looked at uh, doing this, but sometimes we're not always keen on doing too many modifications to the car, but this one we quite like because it appears it doesn't, um change anything and uh effectively you could put everything back um as it is and um or as it was and um we found on the 75 that does have the gas struts to lift the bonnet it is really useful so if you want to quickly look at the bonnet lift it up it'll stay up and even at shows it's uh, quite useful um as well uh, we chose this kit as i say it's a specific kit for the um 45 it does the 25 and i think it does the mg well it will do the mg variants of those two uh two cars uh it's quite a bit dearer than the generic kits but as I was saying, when we looked at the generic kits before, there was a possibility of needing to um, do some drilling and alterations, and we couldn't see a really good way to get them to uh, to fit. So it'd be interesting to see how they've done it with uh, this kit, because it shouldn't need any drilling or altering. It should use existing bolt holes. Um, it looks a nice kit, actually. It comes in this plastic bag. You've got the two legs in separate little pockets. A uh, little bag came with um, the brackets you need. There's two of them and uh, a set of instructions as uh, as well so all we do is sort of follow the process of us fitting this um bonnet lift kit with these struts and uh, see how it goes it also comes with some stickers of the company that makes them so we just keep them um in uh, in the garage yeah so i just thought i'd add with this this kit we got from ebay but i think it's through the discount rover spares company they've got some stuff for sale on ebay and i think you can get it from there um, site as well and when we were searching I think they're the only one I could find that actually do a kit specifically for the Rover 45 and uh, 25 with instructions specifically um, for that so as I said that would be interesting to see how that fits don't forget um, if you're liking this video to uh, like it and also it's well worth looking through our channel as we're doing lots of different things on our 75s and uh, 45s there's a nice archive of videos to look back through and of course you can keep up to date through our Instagram Instagram page and Twitter page and there are links on this YouTube channel to get to those. Right, so we're now at the bonnet of the car and what we've done is fitted one leg because I think it's actually useful to see what it looks like visually as we're um, fitting it. It's also give us a chance to fit one before we uh, film it. So as you can see the um, little sort of ball bolt that um, you've got with the kit goes into the middle bolt of the um, wing and uh, then the little black bracket is going on the uh, top bolt of the uh, hinge and you see this goes um, there like that um, apparently these brackets here there's a hole lower down which is for the uh, 25 and for the 45 um, you use the uh, other hole the instructions uh, explain all that but that's really the only difference in the kit between the uh, between the two so what we're now going to get on with is uh, fitting the other side and show you how that goes right so um, what we're going to do as I said is now start fitting it amazingly it does stay up on one leg which shows you how good the gas struts must be but we are being very careful because with one leg it's not quite strong and the bonnet stay now doesn't really fit because you'd have to pull the bonnet down so we'll just keep an eye on it and uh, and leave it so now the first thing we're going to do is remove that middle bolt on the uh, wing so we can fit that little bolt with the ball on top in there so the only thing that you're left over with really with this kit is your original wing bolt which again we'll keep somewhere safe in case we ever want to uh, take them off and go back to as it was but uh, I don't see any reason why we should. So that's the bolt removed. Right so there's that little bolt with the uh, ball on which technically replaces your middle wing bolt. Um, you've got a washer that goes with it and what we are going to do is um, just put a little bit of copper slip in there and they'll probably put a little bit on the bolt as uh, as well and that just makes sure it shouldn't seize in and there's the uh, little washer there and as you can see the original bolt um, 
as a, a washer with it so you're really only replacing um, what was there with this part of the kit so there we go put a little bit of copper slip just on that belt right so we're now just going to thread all that uh, bolt in and then that is that bit done and uh, your wing bolt is replaced yeah, so as you can see there it's now replaced where the wing bolt was so what we're now going to do is uh, move on to fitting the other bracket which is on the hinge so we move the top bolt off the hinge uh, you shouldn't have to worry about any adjustments being lost because the bottom bolt is holding tight and of course you've got your other two bolts holding tight there uh, the kit uses the original bolt that comes out so you don't get a bolt with it is using that uh, original bolt and um, although there's two holes one for the 25 and one for the 45 I think if you tried to use the 25 hole it wouldn't fit right because it would sort of fail this bit of the hinge bracket as it comes out that's right, so what we do is just put a little bit of copper grease into the uh, bolt hole once again and uh, we'll put a little bit of copper grease on the um, original bolt there and uh, it's going in the top hole there as you can uh, see but again it depends what you're uh, fitted to it's a 45 or uh, a 25 so again you can see there how that bolt is then just going straight back in to hold the hinge on but it's uh, holding your little bracket stay for the um, little gas, gas struts to fit right so now we're ready to fit the gas strut we've got the um, bracket done on the hinge and uh, also the little bolt with the ball done on the wing uh, the gas struts here and it's the part that goes in and out goes to the um, wing end as you can see we've got it there and uh, what we've done is it clips on with this little bit of metal each uh, end and what we've done is just slightly unclip that hopefully you can see there so it just goes on a little bit easier normally you'd only do that actually to get it off easier but whilst we're doing it it can make it easier just to get them on and then you just push that little bit of metal um, back down so that it then locks on both ends right so now we're going to put the gas strut on you may need to do is lift the bonnet slightly just to get it to uh, line up and then as you push it on um, it should go down and uh, clip so it is a case of wiggling the bonnet about so you get it just lined up and then it'll go on and then once it's on you can then push that little clip down and uh, it'll be locked in right so that's um, both of the gas struts on uh, what was nice with this kit actually is there was nothing to need adapting which often even when you buy a kit specifically for something there's always something that needs adapting and one of the things that does look a little bit close is when you come to uh, shutting the bonnet that gas strut does look like it's not going to clear this wing but as it comes in uh, it does it's just uh, a little bit tight but I would say it's definitely worth the first time you're shutting it just checking that it is going to actually uh, clear before you um, shut it down too hard now you can feel that this bonnet with both of them on is um, a lot lot stronger and uh, you can see it's got quite a nice little bit of um, force to it but not not too much and then you shouldn't need the bonnet stay what you can see is it now doesn't line up with either the original holes or the service port holes so it's not really practical to use that with the uh, hidden, with the gas struts but you shouldn't really need to anyway so uh, for us it can just stay out the way and have it there only for um, emergencies or if you ever needed to remove the gas struts and uh, still needed the bonnet up so hopefully that's been uh, of use to you showing you this bonnet lift kit being uh, fitted so I just thought I'd show you there that uh, it does clear as it comes down but just sort of how tight it is but how nicely it clears as uh, well just pull it up it comes up nicely and on its own but not with too much of uh, a judge as well so um, we think probably is worth using the uh, proper kit because there's less fiddling about to do but I think the biggest problem is is the gas struts are either too long or too short on some of the 
generic kits and that's the biggest problem whereas here it's just right to sit between that length and uh, hold the bonnet up so hopefully that's been of use to you as always thank you very much for uh, watching our videos